Welcome back to Daytime, everyone. Are you planning to travel by air soon? Well, if you are, don't forget to follow proper jetiquette. Joining us now is manners expert, frequent flyer, and... Sky Stewart. Sky Stewart, <laughs> I like that. Uh, Galen David, hi. Hi. Good Great to have to you here. here. Has behavior just gone right down the, the toilet? Uh, it people has. flying? <laughs> it has, but I think it's on the way up. Oh, good. Yeah, I think it's on the way up. It's, it's getting better. People are really in tune with it's actually a topic of conversation how well people are behaving in the air well, that's great josh Dumel, of course you heard the actor got escorted off the plane the other day because he was told stop texting right and he kept texting and then boom off he goes but i think he's learned his lesson he's 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 very sorry for what he did yes that's right in-flight faux pas are really not put up with anymore so you can actually have your trip interrupted for it so you know what it's just the mm. crackdown has begun. Let's let's talk about uh, jetiquette, which is what you're you're here for. What is good proper jetiquette? Any tips? Well, there are a few things. First of all, there's behavior. There's habits. Mm -hmm. You know, there's things like taking over the whole overhead bin. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's a no-no. And and I like to look at the overhead bin space as real estate that you would pay taxes on. Sure. That's what go. that's <laughs> the way you have to think you about it. You get your little space. And that's it. Exactly, exactly. And and loud talking oh, on the airplane. Annoying. Keep, keep your conversations down low. And actually, we've created uh, a Jetiquette card. <laughs> How about and, that? Yeah, this card really uh, it illustrates a lot of the things. It's sort of like a safety card on the airplane, except it tells you things like, you know, not to talk too loud, not to let your child kick the seat in front of you, mm -hmm. not to take over the whole overhead bin, not to maybe change your baby on the the tray table, uh, and then. Don't walk around barefoot just because it's unsightly. It's just <laughs> ugly, you know, especially if you didn't have a pedicure and that sort of thing. <laughs> nice right. corns. Exactly, exactly. And at one point, you are definitely going to have to use the lavatory. Yes. Please. Clean Treat it up. Treat it with respect. My yes. goodness. Clean it up. You know, there's a story that Joan Crawford went into the lavatory and that when she came out, she had scrubbed it totally. For people that don't know Joan Crawford, she was a movie star that I had a clean that. thing. Uh -huh. Exactly. So she cleaned that thing. So wipe it down when you leave, you know, and it, it, you've got to just wipe up your mess. Yeah. So there are things that you should do. And speaking of old movie stars, I like to reach back to the way things used to be when people used to get dressed up to travel mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. And so we talk about taking care of yourself so you're in a better mood when you travel mm -hmm. so get yourself a nice piece of luggage and when you reach back to the golden years I like to carry like an old passport cover from the way things used to be and there's a there's a new uh, there's a luggage line that's Pan Am Aww. and Pan Am, yeah and it's classy it's classy and this is actually not even out yet so daytime viewers get a huh. look at it yeah uh -huh. before it's even out well look at that yeah and so it's it's a really cool way to do it so how many times have you had some Somebody just before they're told to turn off their cell phone or just when you land they crank it up and then they get really loud I don't really care what you did earlier in the day but I've heard everybody's story on the plane oh my gosh they do people do it all the time they 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 talk and then they're using big numbers too they like to do that uh, yeah tell them to you know a billion dollars right or, right you know and you're just like oh please you know keep the conversation down I will tell you that um, well, never mind. I can't tell you that we can't tell you all the stories on the airplane. You know what I hate when somebody comes in with you know something something to eat and it's like a salmon sandwich or oh. something and it's just permeating the air. If you haven't brought enough of the smelly food for everybody on the airplane, do not bring it. Do not bring it. Don't bring cans of tuna and open it up on the airplane. That's People not a do good that, idea. Right? It's there's something about the pressure on the airplane that when you open up a can of tuna, it just it, a cloud erupts on the airplane. People will bring their trash on on the plane with them too. From I, home. From what? exactly. Well, not Tell really, me, but it okay, seems like it. You got to give us something. Can well, give us an example of some really bad behavior that you saw that you were just mortified. Well, I think it's ki the Cheerios. Do not bring kids on the airplane with Cheerios and then allow them to take the Cheerios and just throw them up in the air and land right. on the floor. And then everybody on the airplane crunches them and brings them all through the airplane. That's one thing. But I have to tell you about pet etiquette real okay. quick. When you travel with a pet, you've heard that some people have left their pets out of the carriers. Oh. And it's a big no-no. Okay, don't so do that. So leave your pet in the carrier, right. oh. even if your oh pet <gasps> looks like this. Oh. And um, oh. it's tempting. Oh. This is a pet that always dresses for first class. <laughs> and this is our official pet jetiquette uh, mascot, Fergie. Hi, Fergie. And, yes, and she's Aww. been flying around, so she wanted oh, to come, come and visit the Galen, David. She loves you. daytime. Thank the you, only the thing Sky she watches. Steward, David. You're, you're not getting her back. <laughs> Galen, David, thank you. We'll be right back. Thank you.